Time to feel the wind in my helmet. <laughs> well, at least the bell still works. I thought I had fixed my scooter. But apparently, you people did so much damage, it couldn't even be repaired with school glue. School glue. It looks like the bell still works. No, don't. Yep, still works. I will deal with each of you individually as soon as I finish some important principal work. We were called to the principal's office and not Slav. You're in my seat. Too bad. Sit there. Okay. Whoa, whoa. What? <laughs> Next time, give him a seat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to the principal's office before. What exactly happens? Tater calls you in, tells you'll never amount to anything. You snarl at him, he goes, ah! <laughs> He lets you go. Then you come back the next day and do it all over again. Great. Well, I think my punishment's gonna be a little worse than that. I totally totaled his scooter. <laughs> wow, those are beautiful. They better be. They cost the guy I just dumped a fortune. <laughs> the designer handcrafted them out of 24 karat gold, Malaysian angel heart orchids, and, oddly enough, school glue. Aren't you going to class? No can do. Why not? You're not supposed to walk in these shoes. <laughs> but they're shoes. You wouldn't eat breakfast made with a Fabergé egg. You would just admire it. Ooh, can I have some of that bacon? You don't eat Fabergé bacon. It comes from a Fabergé pig. Cheap, ugly shoes are fine for walking. Sorry, I'll pick up the pace. No, I won't. Can't wait to get to the first meeting of my new scooter gang. Sons of mommies. Hey, Blondie, get off of my chopper. No can do. These shoes weren't made for walking. But that's my butt rocket. You want it so bad? Come and get it. How did I buy running shoes you can't run in? the principal's office. It was pretty smart of me not to wear those pants you can't sit in. <laughs> That's all you did to Tater Scooter? That's nothing compared to what I... What? 
What did you do? Forget it. I'm not speaking in front of this guy. He's a mole, a double agent, an inside man. Derby. A snoop, a stool pigeon, a plant, a... Did I say mole already? I'm not here to spy on you, Derby. See? He even knows our names. This guy's really done his research. I'm here because I wrecked Tater's scooter. Mr. Tater, these are not the supplies I ordered. Well, to save money, we substituted a few gently used items. Gently used? These are ancient. Literally ancient. Look at this periodic table of elements. Fire, water, air, and earth. Big deal, so they left off wood. How about this human skull model? What? My sister married a man who looks like that. Oh, and then there's the globe. Hey, no one's ever proven the Earth is round. If you don't believe me, you can look it up on the flat World Wide Web. Just go to FWW. Mr. Tater, I need newer supplies. Well, then you're gonna have to find the money somewhere else. I'm tired of dealing with all you complaining teachers. I should just retire and move to... <laughs> this side down. Fine. If I need to raise money for supplies, I'll do it with a car wash. <laughs> hey, Adam. Derby. Thanks for helping me with my car wash. Car wash? What car wash? <laughs> oh. What do we have here? Some sort of outdoor shower? No. <laughs> it's a car wash to raise money for science equipment. Discount for principals. Ah, oh, darn it. I have no principles. Or scruples, morals, or an ethical code of any kind. I meant the other kind of principle. I'm the other kind of principle. <laughs> Too bad my scooter doesn't need a wash. Well, come on. I'll throw in the turbojet package. It'll clean your scooter in seconds. That'll be 1995. <laughs> and the worst part is, Tater never paid me. He wasn't kidding about having no principles. So, Mr. Young washed a scooter. I did way worse. It all started. Wait, where are my matters? Ladies first. Derby? <laughs> No way. I'm still checking this niche for a wire. Anyway, it all started after science class. Echo, I'm having a problem with Slab Jr. My hamster. Oh. I thought you were talking about your gerbil. Why did you name them both Slab Jr.? Because they remind me of my guinea pig, Slab Jr. <laughs> anyway, he hasn't been himself lately. He's bloated, he's moody, and he keeps throwing up. <laughs> oh, thank goodness it wasn't that much this time. Oh, uh, Slab? Slab Jr.'s not a he. He's a she. What? How do you know? Because he's pregnant. I'm going to be a grandmother? No, you're still a he. Oh, phew. And I think I know who the father is. Mr. Tikashmut. The geography teacher? No, my hamster. 
We have too many hamsters named after other things around here. Are you comfortable, Slab Junior? <gasps> Your water just broke. How are we going to get to the hospital? Hurry up and get me inside so I can put on these sunglasses. <laughs> That's it. Tater Scooter. Oh, no, you don't. I'm tired of you people taking my scooter, so I've chained it up with chains. Chain link chains. But I need to get to the hospital. My hamster's having a baby. <laughs> uh, the baby's coming now. Quick, boil some water. I always think better with a nice cup of tea. <laughs> but I still don't know how to deliver hamster babies. <gasps> it's a miracle. The hamster gave birth without human intervention. <laughs> Tater's still mad about his stupid scooter, even though I named every hamster baby after. This is four eyes. This is Baldy. This is lives with mommy. And this is nice sweater vest, dork. <laughs> Just don't get it. Yeah, well, none of you did anything as bad as I did to Tater Scooter. Up, up, up. I'm still searching this rack for a wire. <laughs> There's only one other place it could be. in this glove. <laughs> nope, it's not in the glove, he's clean. Hi, Mr. Tater. Hey there, Echo. I have exciting news. The Finnegan Friar has a new sidekick. Or should I say, side chick? <laughs> Why are you afraid of the chicken? They're supposed to be afraid of us. That's why they're called chickens. I'm not afraid of it. I'm upset that you've imprisoned it in a locker. What are you talking about? This isn't a prison. That's our prison. He hates it in there. Eh, he always drags the cup against the bars. No, the chicken. Look at this sad poem it wrote. I can't read this chicken scratch. Don't worry, little guy. I'm here to rescue you. Freeze, chicken thief. Identify yourself. me. I'm the Finnegan Friar, which means you must be the legendary forest-dwelling creature known to cryptozoologists as Sasquatch. <laughs> or Echo. You could be Echo. That was my next guess. Hey, come back here. No, I'm rescuing this guy. <laughs> okay. I'd be embarrassed if anybody sees me with egg on my face. <laughs> Help! I can't see where I'm going! Cluck, cluck. It's about time. Oh. <laughs> Run for you, little chicken.
on that side of the bench. Stay away from us, chicken killer. I didn't kill him. He's gonna be fine. He just broke a drumstick. <laughs> and see, all of his friends signed it. Wow. They really do have bad handwriting. Well, Derby, everyone's told their scooter story except you. You still don't want to talk in front of Adam. <laughs> okay, here's my story. Huh. I never noticed that mailbox before. It would be terrible if when I went to open this, a boxing glove sprung out and punched me in the nose. <laughs> Just a package. Ooh, but it's from Ireland. I didn't know you could mail stuff from Ireland without postage. Morning, Mr. Tater. What you got there? A mysterious and enticing package from Ireland? Why, yes. It would be terrible if when I went to open this, a boxing glove sprung out and punched me in the nose. <laughs> oh, just a DVD. It would be terrible if when I went to put this in the DVD There's player. no boxing glove! <laughs> Just come with me so we can watch the DVD. Come on in, sir. You can watch it on this. See, I don't know why Mr. Young is complaining about not having supplies. He's got this AV cart, as well as a video camera, a DVD burner, and uh, this backdrop of a charming Irish cottage. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, laddie. I hope this finds you bald, but healthy. I'm your long-lost Uncle O'Tater. I didn't know I had a long-lost Uncle O'Tater. That's why I'm long-lost, you're right, Egypt. <laughs> if you're watching this, I'm dead. I killed you just by watching this? I'm sorry, I'll watch something else. Derby, bring me my waltzing puppy video. You didn't kill him. I think this is his video, Will. This is my video, Will. <laughs> I'm leaving you everything. Ten million pounds. Ten million pounds? Ten million pounds of what? He means money. Ten million pounds of money? There be a catch. There be a catch? What catch be there be? If you want your pot of gold, you must come to the Emerald Isle. The Emerald Isle? That's where the Wizard of Oz lives. No, that's the Emerald City. The Emerald Isle is a fancy nickname for Ireland. Well, looks like I'm going to Ireland. Derby, what are you doing in my classroom? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> so Tanner went all the way to Ireland and inherited nothing. Yeah, he told me about that trip. He said it was wonderful. He saw the sights, took in the history. He even kissed the Blarney Stone. That's right, and I made him do it all. <laughs> like a boxing glove in a mailbox. He never saw it coming. What does any of this have to do with wrecking Tater's scooter? Oh, it doesn't. But I thought you'd enjoy the story of how I tricked Tater into taking the vacation of a lifetime. <laughs> if you want to know what happened to Tater's scooter, well, that starts with this balloon. Where am I supposed to find air to blow up this balloon? I've got it! of us who don't have balloons feel bad. All I've got is just money. We <sighs> Nothing. When is Mr. Tater gonna call us in already? We've been waiting out here for nearly 22 minutes. 
Let me find out what's going on. Mr. Tater. Mr. Tater. What the heck? Where's Mr. Tater's office? This door just leads outside. Then where did Tater go? To the airport. I had to pick up Siobhan, my new girlfriend I met in Ireland. <laughs> and she happens to be a scooter mechanic. <laughs> Hold on tight, honey. <sighs> <laughs> Sucker.